I would recommend using like a bow bore pour filling a primer like you know bow bore again I'm saying bow hey guys what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a review and a wear test of the mars cosmetics illuminati base primer now they do offer about two shades i have both the shades which is 01 gold beam and 02 pink beam now in this video i'm going to be doing side by side like one shade on one side the other shade on the other side and this video has been requested quite a few times and finally it is here now for skin type i have super oily greasy skin and for foundation shade reference i'm nc40 in MAC and in Maybelline I am 310 Sun Beige. Now before we can get into the description, the application, the wear test, the pros and the cons and if you have not already then do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so you whenever I upload and now let's jump right on the video. <laughs> Now for a quick description of the product, it says that gift a subtle glow to your skin with Mars Illuminati base, loaded with light reflecting micro particles. It can be used underneath the foundation, without a foundation or as a highlighter above the foundation. Now like I mentioned before, they do offer only two shades which is 01 Gold Beam and 02 Pink Beam and uh, these are priced at 249 rupees of 45 ml of product. These are currently available on Flipkart and Amazon and I picked mine from Flipkart. So this is how the packaging looks like, which comes in this black squeezy tube with holographic writing, which I do like. And at the back, you have the shade name and number along with the manufacturing and expiry as well. And it comes in this nozzle type of a dispenser. And now let's finally move on to the application. Okay, so I have super zoomed you guys in. And the first thing I'm going to blot my face and remove all the excess oil because my skin is already oily right now. So yeah. Okay, so my head is up and this is how oily my skin is already now it is quite liquidy in the package i'm just going to quickly shake both the products up this is 01 gold beam which i'm going to be using on this side of my face i have this white head over here which does not want to leave it's not coming off now the good thing is it absorbed very quickly it's very liquidy in texture and it's given a nice glow no primer with primer I'm just going to add a teeny bit more. I'm just going to quickly wipe my hands and go over with the other shade, Pink Beam. And this is how Pink Beam looks like. Damn it. This is more blinding. there is still so much left of the product and it has given a very good glow so out of the two i feel that the pink beam is much more brighter and shinier than the very subtle one which is gold beam so the time right now is 1 32 pm and uh, right now i'm going to do the rest of my base makeup and uh, yeah for foundation, I am going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear Foundation. Now this is in the shade 260 Golden Sun. Now this kind of uh, works for me for like 6 to 7 hours and then I start getting a little bit oily. But yeah, that is the time limit or the threshold until I get oily, which is 6 to 7 hours. Now this is just with foundation and I still feel, I don't know, on the viewfinder, I can still feel that the pink beam is much more glowy than gold beam. For concealer, I'm using the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer in the shade 140 Pure Beige. And all the products will be listed in the description box below, just FYI. But this has lately been my favorite concealer. Yeah, 
the foundation is on the concealer is on and this is how it looks like now i'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup off camera and i will be right back okay so the base is complete the time right now is 1 45 pm and uh, this is how everything looks like up close i have made sure that all the products are matte products and there is zero ounce of highlighter i'm just going to add a dab of this highlighter on top of my foundation in the high points of my face just for shits and giggles <laughs> so my right side was gold beam and that's what i'm going to add just a little amount just to see how it looks i'm just taking like a dot of it and pink beam on this side again just a smidge bit So yeah, I have unzoomed you guys and this is how the whole face looks like. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm oily. So right now the time is 8.08 p.m. So it has been a little over seven and a half hours and this is how oily I am. So basically what happened is around four hours mark, I started getting a little shinier than normal. And then is when the oil started coming through after like five hours mark. So yeah, FII. Now I'm just going to quickly blot my face. Now before that, I will zoom you guys in and show you and then I will blot my face. Okay, so I've zoomed you guys in and this is how oily I look. So I did film another video, like two other videos, like a lip swatch video. That's why my lip area is a bit drier or non-oilier than the rest of my face. But everywhere else, I can see the oil has come through. So yeah. So two blotting sheets later, this is how my face looks like right now. It feels fresh. I can still see a bit of the glow on my face, which is great. Now let's move on to the formula, the pros, the cons and everything else. All right, so let's go over the formula and the pros of this primer. Now, firstly, it is very thin and very liquidy in consistency. Secondly, which I personally like is that it does absorb into the skin pretty quickly because I have oily skin. I kind of like that and prefer that. However, if you have dry skin, I would highly recommend using another moisturizer before you apply this so that your skin is well moisturized because this will not be enough if you have dry skin. For the shade 01 Gold Beam, I like that it gives a very subtle kind of a glow, so subtle kind of a highlighter. And this will be perfect if you want to wear it on its own as well or mixed with your foundation or BB cream or applied before your foundation or BB cream. Now the second shade which is 02 Pink Beam, that is a bit blinding compared to Gold Beam. So for that, I do not recommend using it on its own. I will highly recommend using it mixed with your foundation or before your foundation or BB cream. And these also work great as a highlighter just to apply it on the high points of your face over your foundation or BB cream because it does not disturb the base underneath. Lastly, I like the fact that these are like a squeezy tube because they are travel friendly and they are non-messy as well. Now coming to the FYI, these both the shades, they do have glitter particles. Now I will show a video side by side with normal indoor lighting as well as with the flash on for both the shades where you can see the glitter particles that's actually showing through even in the normal indoor lighting. So I know that some of you all do not prefer glitter particles on your primer. So this one is just FYI for those. Now this one does not blur your pore which is kind of okay because it does not claim to do so and if those who have large pores and textured skin like mine I would recommend using like a bore, bore, pore filling primer before you apply this primer. Now this primer does have a very strong fragrance so those who have sensitive skin or sensitive to fragrance on their products I do not recommend this and you can just skip this primer. And the last point is that on super oily skin like mine it lasts for about four to five hours and if you have oily skin like how i do i would suggest using like an oil controlling primer before you use this primer another point as an fii which i forgot to mention is that whenever you order off of amazon or flipkart they do have delivery charges so i would just suggest look for somewhere like for example in flipkart the price is reduced to 180 ish kind of rupees i'll put the picture here on how much it is but then you do have delivery charges which kind of adds up to the exact amount of this primer wherein in amazon it is for the full 250 rupees plus you have to pay an extra delivery charges so just make sure that you choose wisely as to how much you're paying for these Overall, in my personal opinion, now if you have dry skin, you're okay with glitter particles, you will love this primer, especially the shade Gold Beam if you're looking for a subtle kind of a glow or Pink Beam if you're looking for kind of a blinding kind of a glow. However, if you have oily skin like mine, I personally may not reach for it. The reason is because the time frame for this is only four to five hours. 
apart from that i will have to add a lot of other base as well like you know bow bow again i'm saying bow pore filling primer as well as oil controlling primer and this on top of it and then the foundation so for me personally i may not reach out for this but if you're okay with any of the points that i had mentioned you can easily go for it and also i love the fact that this is quite affordable so it's only 250 rupees so 45 ml of product is a good quantity for the price so yeah Hey guys, these were my thoughts on the Mars Cosmetics Illuminati Base Primer, and this wraps today's video, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to be notified whenever I upload, as well as like the video and comment down below. If you have any questions or requests, I will try my best for you, as well as follow me on my socials, which is Ishanaer on Instagram and Ishanaer on Twitter as well. So until the next time, take care. Bye.